Hello guys, so welcome back to CE Box Tutorial Channel and this is our problem number 2 for flexural torsional backbend. Compute the compressive strength of a C381 times or by 75 of A36 steel. The effective lengths with respect to X, Y, and Z axis are each 4 meters. Okay? So A36 is still given. So yung ating FY nyan is equivalent to 248 mega. Pascal. Okay? Then, uh, okay, check natin dito yung properties niya. So, given na halos lahat. Okay, ang properties natin is AG, 480, TW, TF, okay, IX, IY, RX, RY, CW, given then yung warping constant. Then, R, sa, uh, R bar sub O is 139.45, yung H given na rin. Then, yung J natin is 1.103 times 10 raised to 6. Okay, and uh, syempre, i-check natin kung saan yung may axis of symmetry and no axis of symmetry. Okay, so dito, dito yung ating x-axis, hindi ba? So dito yung ating x-axis, ito naman yung ating y-axis. Okay? So yung ating y-axis is, okay, so no, so no symmetry dito, hindi ba? Okay, so since yung ating y-axis is no symmetry, dyan natin kukunin yung Flexural buckling strength natin. Okay? So, number one muna tayo. So, flexural buckling. Okay? So, flexural buckling muna tayo. Okay? So, PN is equivalent to FCR multiplied by AG. So, KL over RY. Solve natin. Para, para sa naman silang 4 meters, no? So, 4 by uh, 10 raised to 3 over... Ang RY natin is 22. So, this is 181.818. Okay, or 82. Which is less than sa 200, pero halos malapit na, no? Okay, so, pasok pa rin tayo sa limit natin na 200. Then, check natin yung 4.71 square root of E over FY. So, 4.71 square root of E times 10 raised to 3 over FY, which is 248. So, 133.755. Okay. Ayan. So, nag-greater than tayo. Okay. So, KL over RY is greater than sa... 4.71 square root of E over FY. Therefore, elastic buckling tayo. So, kung elastic buckling tayo, yung ating FCR, balikan natin yung introduction natin. Dito, ayan. Oops. Ayan. So, yung ating FCR is 0.877 FE. So, 0.877 of FE. So, solve natin ang FE natin. Ang FE is equivalent to pi squared E over KL over R Y squared. Ayan. So, ilan to? So, pi squared E over uh, KL over RY, which is 181.82 squared. So, 59.71 mega pascal. So, masob na natin yung FCR natin. Check ko lang ha. 50.70, okay, 71. Okay. So, FCR natin is 0.877 multiplied by 59.71. So, 52.37. Mega Pascal. And then, masasolve na natin yung ating PN. Which is equivalent to 52.37 multiplied by AG na 9.480. Then divided by 1,000 para maging kilonewton. So, 
4.68. So, 496.468 kilonewton. And this will be our PN sub 1. Okay, then, shade muna natin. Ayan. Okay, so number 2 tayo. Para sa flexural torsional buckling. So, saan ba pasok yung ating section? Okay. So, hindi siya pasok sa number 1. So, pasok siya sa number 2 natin. Okay? So, for all other cases. So, yung ating FCR para sa ating PN is kukunin natin dito. Okay? Na kung saan yung ating FE. Ah, yes. Yung ating FCR is magagaling dito. Okay? Pero yung ating FE, ito yung equation. So, for doubly symmetric members and then for singly symmetric members. Okay, so under tayo din sa ano, singly symmetric members. Kasi, isa lang naman yung ano dito, ba Axis of symmetry sa ating x-axis. Okay? So, copy natin yun. Yan. So, ngayon, yung ating equation na PN is equivalent to FCR AG na kung saan yung ating FCR is manggaling sa ating ano uh, flexural buckling uh, equation to okay pero yung ating FE na gagamitin doon is manggaling dito sa letter B so FE is equivalent to FEY plus FEZ over 2H multiplied by 1 minus square root of 1 minus 4 FEY FEZ multiplied by H over FEY plus FEY Z squared N. So, ano ba muna ang equation sa FCR? Ang FCR natin is same lang dito. Okay, same lang ba? Ah, uh, no. Kasi, kailangan natin i-check yung KL over R dito, no? Okay, so, check mo natin. So, KL over Rx is equivalent to ang L natin is 4 meters. Then, ang Rx natin is 133. So, ilan to? So, 30.075. 30.075 So, less than na tayo sa ano, no? Less than na tayo sa 4.7, ano? 4.71 Square root of E over FY So, dito natin i-check, ha? Yung ating flexural torsional buckling kasi dito yung may axis of symmetry Okay? So, dyan siya possible na mag-twist Okay? So, ngayon uh, Since less than to yung ating FCR is equivalent to 0.658 raised to Fy over Fe multiplied by Fy. Ayan. Okay. So, solve natin yung ating Fe. Wala dito sa equation na to. So, Fey. So, yung ating Fey ngayon, magiging na to ngayon, Fex. Kasi nga, yung ating axis of symmetry is yung x-axis. Okay. So, check natin yung equation natin dito. Ano yung ating FEY? Ito. Okay. So, same lang din naman pala, no? KYL over RY. So, maging RX lang to. So, FEY, which is equivalent to FEX, is equivalent to pi squared E over KL over RX squared. So, pi squared E over KL over Rx, which is 30.075 squared. So, 2182. 2182.32. Mega Pascal. And then, solve natin yung FEZ. FEZ is equivalent to Okay, so ito siya. So, pi e squared CW KZL pi e squared 
E multiplied by CW over KZ L squared plus JJ multiplied by 1 over AG R bar sub O squared. So, dito given yung ating R bar sub O and given yung ating H. Meron J, meron G, meron CW. Okay, yung KZ. Okay, so sa Z naman, parehas pa rin. 1.0 pa rin ang KZ natin. Okay. Then yung ating L is 4 meters. Ayan, sa mga sub natin to. Okay, yung ating FEZ. So, pi squared, E, 200 times 10 raised to 3, multiplied by CW, 132.12 times 10 raised to 9, over KZL, which is uh, 4 meters squared, plus, oh, sorry, aha, uh -huh. dapat ano to eh, okay, millimeters dapat to, okay, naka millimeters. So, 4 times 10 raised to 3 is squared. Ayan. Then, plus G. So, that is 72.2 times 10 raised to 3 para maging uh, megapascal. Ang J natin, 1.103. 1.103 times 10 raised to 6. Multiplied by 1 over AG. 15,420 ba? Sorry, 9,480 pala. So, last problem pala yun. 9,480. Multiplied by R sub O, which is equivalent to 139.45 squared. Okay? So, naka-square pa yan kasi ang given lang naman dito is R, uh, R bar sub O. Hindi naman siya naka-square. So, kailangan pa natin siyang i-square dito. Okay? So, 550.316. Mega Pasca. Okay? So, masasob na natin yung ating Fe. So, Fe, Y. So, di pa tinak, ano, no? Na store, no? Para dito yung nagka-type lagi. So, ang ating Fe, Y is gawin ating A. Fe, Z natin, gawin natin B. So, Fe, Y. Saan yun? Ito. Okay. So, A. Then, Fe, Z. Ito. B. Okay. Then, FEY, A plus FEZ over 2H. Ang H natin is 0.937. Tama ba? Okay, 0.937. Okay. Uh, multiplied by 1 minus square root of 1 minus 4 multiplied by A multiplied by B multiplied by H. 0.937 over... FEY, A, plus FEZ, B, then squared. Ayan. So, 539.17. So, 539, oops. 0.17 mega pascal. So, masasab na natin yung ating FCR. So, FCR is equivalent to 0.658 raised to FY na 248 over FE na 539.17 multiplied by FY. So, 204.57. So, masod na natin yung PN sub 2 natin. 204.57 multiplied by 9480. Then, divided by 1,000. So, 1,939. 1,939.32. Kilo Newton. So, malakas sa ano, no? Malakas yung ating uh, members sa flexural torsional buckling. So, mahina siya sa ano? Flexural buckling. Okay? So, therefore, yung ating P and max is equivalent to 496. 
0.468 kN or sa madaling salita since mahina yung ating members sa uh, sa flexural buckling ito yung magogovern okay so diyan yung focus natin na strength kaya magiging capacity lang niya or uh, nominal capacity is 496.468 kN so ganun lang naman kasimple hindi ba hindi naman siya nakakalito so basta sundan lang natin yung code Okay, so reviewin lang ulit natin, di ba? So para dito, so for uh, double angle and T-shape, yung ating uh, FCR na gagamitin para dito, para sa ating PN is ito, okay? Na kung saan yung ating FCR and FCRZ is mga galing sa ating equation 505.3-2 or 505.3-3, which is, yung equation natin para sa ating flexural buckling stress to. Okay? Yan. Sorry, uh, mali pala. Uh, I mean, tama naman, pero may nasobrahan ako. FCRZ, yan. Yan. So, FCR lang pala. Sorry. Yan. FCRY. Magagaling dito dun sa equation natin sa flexural buckling. And yung ating FCRC is GJ over AG R bar sub O squared. Pero, para naman sa ibang cases, maliban sa double angle and T-shape, Yung ating uh, FCR is same pa rin, okay? Magagaling sa equation natin sa flexural buckling, okay? Kung elastic man yan or inelastic buckling. And then yung ating FE doon, papalta natin. Ang FE natin is magagaling sa A and B. Okay, na kung saan ang A is for double symmetric members and for B is for singly symmetric members. Okay, then yung sa singly symmetric member, FEY, FEZ. So, yung ating FEY, FEZ, okay, is merong kanya-kanyang uh, equation dito. Ayan. Okay, wala natin problema sa FEX and FEY eh. Ano lang to? Euler stress, hindi ba? Euler stress lang siya. Familiar tayong lahat dyan. So, FEZ, ito, hindi tayo masyadong familiar. Anyway, may equation naman na given. Just substitute lang natin yung mga uh, notations natin. Okay? Ayan, so ganun lang kasimple yung ating flexural torsional buckling. Okay? So, dito na nakatapos yung ating um, chapter 4, Compression Member. So, hindi na kami mag discuss ng built-up member. Okay, mag-move on kagad kami sa ating chapter 5, okay, uh, Flexural Member, which is yung BIM. Okay? Uh, bale, hindi pa namin sure kung kailan kami makakapaggawa or makapag-start ng paggawa ng template and makapag-record ng uh, Flexural Member kasi medyo maging hectic na yan. Papalapit na yung midterm exam ng uh, mga estudyante ko. Okay? So, magiging hectic na. Magiging uh, medyo abala na talaga sa work and other uh, other other sidelines. Okay? And, syempre sa buhay. Okay? So, pakihintay na lamang yung ating chapter 4, ah, uh, chapter 5, flexural member. Okay? So, this is our problem number 2 for flexural torsional packing. So, thank you for watching. Bye!